Hi, so I'm going to show you the simple steps on how to hang this mirror medicine cabinet here. So this particular cabinet is 30 pounds and the rail is actually weighted at the top. There are two types and this particular one is a rail that hangs the medicine cabinet from the top. So you could see the rail itself actually slides back and forth with the hangers attached to the medicine cabinet itself. So let me go ahead and show you the rail. So notice the rail here, the top sticks out so that the hangers could be slid at, across the top there. And the bottom is where the holes are. So I'm going to drill four holes. I'm going to first plumb the leveler. So I'm going to use a uh, leveling ruler and make sure that it is straight and level. So I'm going to take my pencil with a ruler here that has a leveler and I'm going to draw a line make sure that it is completely straight across. The other thing I want to check is make sure everything that's relative to the mirror is also plumb itself. So I'm going to put the leveling ruler you know, along the bottom, make sure it's plumb, and also to the side and make sure it's plumb. And if it's not, I have to make some adjustments so that visually the mirror itself looks like it's centered and plumb relative to everything that's along its side. So I have the rail here and I've drilled a couple of pilot holes and I screwed in some of the screws but I will also be taking the rail out and putting in the plastic anchors. So let me go ahead and um, actually plumb this, double check that it is plumb. And now I am going to unscrew the positions. These are merely pilot holes and I'm going to put in the plastic anchors that are rated at a certain weight. So normally when you put in the pilot screws, you want to make sure you're hitting stud. Now if you don't hit stud, what you're going to have to do is buy these uh, plastic anchors. So these plastic anchors, when you actually screw it in, it expands and it catches to the drywall. And it really is weighted at a particular weight. You see this particular one is rated at 35 pounds. And I'll be using four of these plastic anchors to anchor the rail. And you notice how it works here. Uh, once I screw in the screw, um, I have these plastic anchors and what you want to do is you want to make sure the hole is big enough such that you could slide in the plastic anchor without much nailing or uh, without using a hammer so you should be able to push these plastic anchors and force it in with your hand after you've drilled the hole now that's if you don't hit a uh, particular stud if, if you don't hit a stud you'll need these plastic anchors so you notice here I've put in the four plastic anchors evenly across the rail. So this supports uh, you know, 35 pounds each, meaning that this supports about 170 pounds with those plastic anchors. And now I'm simply going to screw the screw into the plastic anchors. Now double check the leveling, make sure it's loud, nice and level. And now it's time to hang the actual uh, mirror. So the hangers across the mirror actually slide horizontally. So you don't have to have it perfect. I like to position it one third in from the side and then start hanging the uh, cabinet. So this cabinet is about you know, 30 pounds and it's going to hang right along the rail. So you see that piece at the top that sticks out, and I'm merely going to hang it on the top there. So here's a view from the top of the attachment hanging on to the metal rail that's fastened to the wall. And you can see how tight it is. It just catches on, and now you can adjust it horizontally. So to make the medicine cabinet more stable and not tip forward, there is a piece at the bottom that attaches to the wall. So once attached to the wall, the mirror becomes fixed and it won't tip forward. So this here is the final stabilizing piece at the bottom and that's really it. And once you have this all set, it is nice and tight. And you know, just pulling out here, you can see the mirror is nicely mounted and it's very stable and level. And there you go. I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching.